Hello students, how are you? I hope you are safe at home and study well. So, you know, who am I? I am a very English teacher, D. Mayama, CRP English, KGBV, Riddhamuriyam, YSR, Kalpa District. Students, in our previous class, we have learned definition of a clause and the types of a subordinate clauses and the adverbial clause and types of a adverbial clauses. So we will learn all these grammar topic in previous session. Children, now I am going to teach an interesting session that is the writing part, that is the biographical sketch. In this session, we will learn how to write a biographical sketch. So, what is biographical sketch? Before going to the session, children, so what is the speciality of the date 29th this month? Yes, you are right, children. So, the 29th August is the birthday of Major Dhyan Chand. So, every year we celebrated National Sports Day of his birthday. Okay, ma? Okay, let us go to the session How to Write a Biographical Sketch. What is biography? A biography is an account of a person's life written by another person. In Kokari, Jeevita Visheshala Guruji, you are Sahinchan and Jiyal Guruji, you are a personal life Guruji, Mana Pras Tedani, biographical speech and the moon. Okay, ma? What is a biography? A biography is an account of a person's life written by another person. If you person interested in writing someone's life history, he has to do thorough research about him. Yogar in the Sarinko the Vetti Gurinchi, Manamo Ayana Gurinchi, Biography Raya Lamunde, Ayana Gurinchi Manamo thorough information will be get thorough information about the person. I person someone is in a poor the information and collect chest on it. Actually, his original name is 
Major Dhyan Singh. His original name was Major Dhyan Singh. But his coach only called him Chand. So here Chand means moon. Chand means moon. Okay. Here the person name Major Dhyan Chand. You know very well. So we celebrated National Sports Day for his birthday. Major Dhyan Chand. Date of birth. 29th August 1905. Allahabad, India. His parents were Sameshwar Singh, Sarada Singh and enlisted in the British Indian Army. Here enlisted means joined. Enlisted means joined. Here his father also joined in the British Indian Army. He worked in the British Indian Army. Enlisted means joined. So parents were Sameshwar Singh, Sarada Singh. So his father joined in the British Indian Army and again sports associated with the hockey. First entry Indian Army at the age of 16. So he joined the Indian Army at the age of 16. Best in the career, three gold medals in Olympics of 1928, 1932 and 1938 awards. So he received the prestigious award Padma Bhushan in 1956 and uh, he died on 3rd December 1979. Here are the details of the culture Major Dhyan Chand. In the examination point of view, they are given the details of the person. So, in the examination point of view, the details of the person. Then we have a biographical sketch of the description of the person. Okay, ma? We have to read the English paper 2. We have to read the biographical sketch of the person. Therefore, let us know how to write a biographical sketch. Okay, ma? We have to pass the test. You have to write the steps of the person. First, we have to write the first person. Next, we have to write the place, next information about the family, next achievements of the person. So these are the steps. Why you are writing biographical sketch? When biographical sketch is written, you have to follow the step by step and then these steps you have to follow the steps. That's why the video passed the test. You have to take notes. Pravata, let us know how to write a biographical sketch. It is very very easy. So why writing biographical sketch? We should do use simple past tense. Then we can use chair and simple past tense use chair as well. Okay ma? Let us know how to write a biographical sketch. So what is the first step? The first step is a person's name. So, who must write the heading? Biographical sketch of Biographical Sketch of S-K-E-T-C-H Sketch of Manam yawa huli chayte Biographical sketch raashtu namo Or eka name name namo Tension chayat 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 Biographical sketch of Major Dhyan Chayat Major Dhyan Okay, ma. So this is the heading. So biographical sketch of major Dan Chen. So, we will text on the heading of the heading. Okay, next. So, Major Dhyanshan was Major Dhyanshan was was a famous So, he was associated with the game Hagi. So, that Major Dhyanshan was a famous hockey player. 
he was born he was born when on 29 august 1905 so before the date ye ka date mundu we must write the preposition on ila date vachindi ante dan mundu kattanga on ane preposition ga use cheyalasundi so major dhyan chand was a famous hockey player he was born on 29th august 19 
sports day august 29 okay ma so so this is the biographical details of pv sindhu this is the details of pv sindhu so you should write the biographical sketch of pv sindhu at home so intended the homework rangi rasi me in the class whatsapp groups lo me madam se send cheyandi ma so pv sindhu postal venkat sindhu was born on 5th july 1995 her parents are pv ramananda p vijaya she was born in hyderabad india and her nationality so she is an indian she studied at saint anne's college for women mehdi patna her height sorry her height in centimeters some centimeters and centimeters and her weight in kilograms 64 kilograms so international debut she participated in 2009 sub junior asian badminton championship in colombo her coach is kolelo gopiche so her achievements are she won silver medal at the rio olympics 2000 16 and she received the prestigious award rajiv kel ratna award okay ma so this is uh, the information about the pv sindhu in the next session we will know how to write a conversation before ending this session i will give one more activity for homework ma so page number 34 in your next book study skills we have finished reading the text through head write the summary of the story in your own words so in the study skills you have finished reading the text through head write the summary of the story in your own words so manne man ok sari ye ka through head michael stone se kya story sari chadri aur the summary man ho raha hai so use the following ideas to complete your summary if you read so ek summary man ko